In this video, we will explore the origins of newly formed cyclone named Bipojoy, which is currently developing in the Arabian Sea. It is important to note that cyclone names follow a rotational pattern, meaning that once a name is used for a storm, it is retired and replaced with a new name. This practice helps prevent confusion when multiple storms are active in the same ocean basin. This cyclone is named as Bipurjoy, taking into consideration the Bengali pronunciation where the letter A is pronounced as O. Although the spelling is Bipurjoy, the pronunciation in Bengali follows the O sound. Now, due to India's location within the tropical region, this cyclone can be categorized as a tropical cyclone. As you know, cyclone has been segregated into five categories. According to the Indian Meteorological Department, this cyclone has been classified as a very severe cyclonic storm. If this cyclone were to occur in different regions around the world, it would be referred to by various names such as tropical cyclone, hurricane, typhoon and so on, depending on specific regions naming conventions. Now let's go to the main topic of this video, how did this cyclone originate? Before we start, it is important to clarify that Cyclone Bipurjoy is not associated with the southwest monsoon. This distinction is crucial because the southwest monsoon typically occurs around this time of the year, which may lead to confusion between the monsoon and Cyclone Bipurjoy. And the reason this cyclone is not part of the southwest monsoon is that the southwest monsoon is a seasonal wind that blows from the southwest to the northeast across the Indian subcontinent. During summer, the sun's rays are more direct over the Tropic of Cancer, which is located north of the Indian subcontinent. This causes the land to heat up more than the ocean, creating a low pressure area over the land and a high pressure zone over ocean waters. Now this pressure gradient between the two regions generate winds that blow from the ocean towards the land. So this is the basic mechanism of the southwest monsoon. It is caused by the difference in temperature between the land and the ocean. Now if you look at the cyclone before joy, it is a tropical cyclone and not a seasonal wind. A cyclone is a rotating storm that forms over warm tropical waters. In this case it is the Arabian Sea. Even in a cyclone, the wind moves from ocean to the land, but here the mechanism is different. The ocean water is warmer than the land and because of that, the moist air over the ocean rises, carrying water vapour. As the air rises, it cools because temperature and air pressure decreases with altitude and the water vapour condenses, releasing latent heat. This latent heat warms the rising air, causing it to rise even higher. The rising air creates a low pressure area at the surface of the ocean. The Coriolis effect caused by the Earth's rotation deflects the winds blowing towards the low pressure area, causing them to rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. The rotating winds further intensify the storm. There is a strong vertical movement of air that carries warm and moist air upward. And that creates a type of cloud called as vortex cloud. They can be dangerous as they can produce strong winds, heavy rain and hail. In some cases, they can even lead to tornadoes. And that is what we are seeing with Cyclone Bipurjoy. Cyclone Bipurjoy originated in the Arabian Sea on 6th June. The low pressure area quickly intensified into a depression on June 8th and a cyclonic storm on June 9th. The cyclone then moved northwards along the west coast of India and made landfall in Gujarat on June 15th. The storm had maximum sustained winds of 150 km per hour. So this is how tropical cyclone Bipurjoy originated. I hope you understood the mechanism and I also hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.